Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is basically a he-she reading, but this is the Divine Feminine check-in, right? I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back, and to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. <clears throat> Checking on in, right? Checking in on the Divine Feminine, seeing what she's doing. What is she doing, right? These cards are pre-shuffled. Let's go ahead and get that extra shuffle in so we can see the general energy <clears throat> for the Divine Feminine. Please just take what resonates and leave the rest. Energy for the Divine Feminine is Page of Pentacles. So maybe wanting to make an offer or maybe an offer's coming in, something like that, right? Pages are messengers, so there might be an offer, a little gift, token gift. Somebody wants to give somebody a gift, <clears throat> a little offer, a little token gift, right? What is she doing? What's going on with her? What is going on with her Divine Feminine, right? What has she got going on in her life right now? What has she really got going on in her life? Seven of Wands in the reverse, no longer wanting to be defensive, no longer wanting to deal with any sort of competition. Hell no. No, she is not. Knight of Swords in the reverse. No truth coming into her, but you know, she knows what's going on. It has to do with this person from the past. Somebody who, you know, she loved this person, but this person doesn't want to come in and tell the truth. And she does not want to be treated as an option. She's not an option, right? She doesn't want to have to compete for love. Smart gal there. <clears throat> Guy or gal, you know, you guys got to swap the energies how you feel. Okay, you know which side you're on. Got the three of wands here, and this person is waiting. She is waiting for something. <clears throat> she could be waiting on a truth that will never come in. Or she knows the truth already. She knows somebody's not going to be honest. And she is waiting for the perfect time just to move forward. One or the other, right? Yep, one or the other. What else you got going on for her? Six of Pentacles. No, uh, this person is not going to come in with this true with the truth. She doesn't want to be, you know, she's in a situation where someone's giving to two and maybe not even barely giving her nothing, right? And this is her lover. <sighs> this is him. What is he doing? Well, we know what he's doing, but she's not going to do it anymore. She's not going to do it, right? She knows the truth, and you know the the moon in reverse is about. Coming out scot-free, coming out clean after there has been some deception and some secrets and lies. She is going to come out on top. She is going to benefit from this because the universe is going to reward her, right? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, you know. No, okay, so there's no money coming in from because of this situation, right? Maybe, why? Because she wasn't in it for the money. She wasn't in it for the money, right? <clears throat> And she's not going to let anybody juggle her around. She's not in it for the money because she's got her own. She's like that single lady, right? She's the one who is very intuitive. She's single. Um, <clears throat> she is like uh, the high priestess. And she knows what's going on. And she don't want to deal with this garbage anymore. No. Yeah, look, she is stronger. She has become stronger. Whoever was, you know, trying to, you know, confuse her or keep her hanging on a string or whatever she's not having it nope she sure isn't she's working towards her own stability and she's gonna get it she's gonna get it and she but she's not gonna get it wet with juggling right she's not gonna be juggling she's not gonna be multitasking for an individual who's not gonna put in their you know, part of the bargain, part of the effort she's strong now and she's strong enough to find her own stability in her life 
Yeah, she's going to work on herself, work on with work with others. Uh, there is a King of Cups here possibly that is has put her in a Three of Swords energy. Could be him, you know. Remember, we left him off as the King of Cups. Eight of Cups. She has walked away from a situation that doesn't serve her. She is hanging on to the memory, though, of what this person has done, about how they made her an option and has put her hanging in the balance. And, you know, this person could have been married and stuff, but she's, you know, she's starting a new cup for herself. She's, there's going to be a new start in love for her. And she's going to take a leap of faith into a direction. And this is going to help her with her own personal issues, right? Because somebody got away with something, and she's bringing that to an end. <clears throat> yep. Strong woman, divine feminine. So yeah, that's what's going on here for her. She knows, she knows she's not stupid and she is not going to wait around for some bullshit, right? She's not going to wait around for somebody to come around, right? No, she's moving on. She's not going to juggle this anymore. She's not going to, you know, oh, he's. I'm going to wait for them to bring me. No, no, she's not doing it. And she's not going to be part of, you know, just getting breadcrumbs from somebody who's giving most of his energy somewhere else. What else is she doing here? What else do I have got going on? What else is she doing? All right. <clears throat> Somebody's going to come in with some sort of offer, some sort of token gift, right? They're going to come in and make a, some sort of promise of stability. But all that is is a promise. Remember, you guys, it's just a promise, right? She is definitely angry at somebody. <laughs> she is mad at this lover <coughs> because, you know, she put her all into him. This is the, look, the empress, Right? This could be somebody with Libra in their chart. We got the Queen of Wands, uh, Swords in the reverse. She's mad. But she's an Empress, so she doesn't act all crazy. She may have in the past, but not anymore. She doesn't want to put her time, energy, and efforts into something that's futile, that's not going to lead anywhere, right? Not willing to work on this situation and uh, is not willing to deal with this burden. Good job. Good. She's realized her worth. That's what's going on here. She knows who she is. She knows what she deserves. And she's not going to take it anymore. She's not going to deal with these toxic people and her environment. She's not. She's over it. She is having some sleepless nights about it, though, She's because she's pissed. She's pissed at what happened. She poured all her love into an individual, but not anymore. She's given up. She's done. She knows her worth now. She's not going to let somebody just trample all over her like a doormat. And, you know, she's still worried about it, still tripping on it, but she knows that this is a, a you know, the offer's not coming in. There's no offer coming in. There's no, and, and she's not going to offer anything to this individual. Yeah, look, six of cups in the reverse. Not getting along. Not getting along, arguing, fighting, or just being silent. Silent treatment. So immature, right? She's not going to deal with that person. She's just going to move on. What it is, is maybe she's realizing this person didn't really love her. You know, she tried so much to work on this and no, nothing, nothing. Still trying to make sense of the situation, but, uh, you know, she's decided to work on herself, not put any effort into this relationship anymore, not trying to put any more energy out there for these energy vampires, which is what they are. And she's going to be working on herself. Building her pentacles, working on herself, making herself happy. In the energy of the Queen of Wands, Gemini, Libra, uh, sorry, uh, count, uh, gosh, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, very passionate about, you know, herself 
Oh, look, we have the uh, Two of Pentacles in the reverse, not willing to be juggled anymore, right? She she knows what's going on. <clears throat> Somebody tried to put her in the option bucket. Look at this. She doesn't have the strength to fight for this anymore. These cards were in the reverse. Yeah, no longer mourning over this. Why? Because she has found out the truth. She is going to have justice. She will move forward on the Wheel of Fortune and find that happiness in her life. Ten of Cups. Not, uh, she is waiting for some, she's waiting to leave this toxic situation, right? Yeah. Waiting to leave, walking away, starting a new leap of faith el elsewhere. And that's where love will come into her. She will, uh, end the cycle, uh, with this individual, possibly with him, right? Because, you know, we have divine masculine, divine feminine don't have to get together in this lifetime. They could just be lessons for each other in this lifetime, right? Yeah. Now she's a single lady, happy and abundant. Right. A little unbalanced, but she'll be okay. And that's when passionate messages will come in, but she will, you know, the message will be involving some th sort of third party situation, some kind of heartbreak. Not willing to be backstabbed anymore in that situation with the King of Pentacles. <laughs> you see? You see? Isn't that what we saw in his reading? <laughs> he was the King of Pentacles, wasn't he? And she's not going to deal with that fool no more. He put her in all kind of three-party situation, lied to her, cheated on her. Not really cheated. He was already involved. I mean, he cheated on, on her and his, his actual spouse. That is just a heel. That person is just so uh, unworthy of love. <clears throat> Definitely unworthy of love. Maybe he doesn't know how to love something. I don't know, but we know that he's paying the price right now, right? Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> see what else flies out here for the Divine Feminine, for her side of the story, right? Let's see what's going on here for her. What is going on? What is the Divine Feminine doing here? After she has realized all this stuff, what is the Divine Feminine doing here after she has realized all this stuff? feminine doing after she has just realized all this stuff that's going on in her her life with this individual with this person who is just not faithful and honest three of cups in the reverse no longer part of a three-party situation she has pulled herself away from that <clears throat> she has ended a situation she's thought about it she's like it's good i'm, I'm done Right? Not willing to judge this in, uh, this relationship or situation anymore. Why? Because she just cut it out completely. She's done. Not going to think about it anymore. Not going to worry about it anymore. She has found her strength and she is, um, you know, going to start loving up on herself or finding, you know, some sort of hobby or, or something that she loves for herself. She's All her time is dedicated for her. Things that make her happy. Things that bring her emotional fulfillment. <clears throat> what else is she doing? Not allowing herself to be juggled. Good, good, good. Starting to work on her finances, starting maybe starting a business, right? Putting all her efforts that she used to put in someone else into herself. Right, this other person was holding her up, and now she's realized that, and she's like, I'm not going to be juggled. I'm putting an end to all this stuff. I'm not going to judge. I'm not going to think about it anymore. I'm out of my head about this. Going to start working on projects on myself. Not going to juggle. Not going to be juggled. And <clears throat> not going to accept any token gifts or, or from anyone because she is worth a lot more than just a token gift. Page of Wands, not taking a new, uh, going on a new adventure with anyone, right? She's doing her own thing, right? Somebody may want to come in and offer, oh, no, no, I don't want it. I am an empress. Why would I want that? Slim pickings, right? Look, Ace of Cups. <clears throat> There's going to be a new start for her, though. A new start in love. Somebody is, um... She's, you know, there's a woman holding a cup here. It looks, and that cup is overflowing. 
She's nurturing. She's nurturing a situation or she's nurturing herself. Uh-huh. What else do we got? Let me get one more. Let me get one more card here. Let me get one more card here. There it is. It's in the reverse, but it's okay. Oh, two. Four of Pentacles, letting go. Letting go of this individual who has just, you know, you know, yeah, no longer wanting the Ten of Cups with that person, that's for sure. So she's not focused on Ten of Cups right now. She's possibly focused on her finances, letting whatever, maybe her, she was focused on getting married and doing all this, but this person is just, ugh, you know what I'm saying? Ugh. She's gone into hermit mode. She has realized the truth. There might be a message of love coming in, but she's going to take a leap of faith and she's going to be the Nine of Pentacles lady. Stay nice and single, happy, joyous, and abundant. Enjoying herself, reading her book, having a glass of wine and a little snack under her abundance tree. <laughs> yes. Somebody may be coming in to defend themselves, a lover, a past lover, but uh, she knows that this person is a liar. She knows uh, that this conversation is coming and she knows that an ending is going to happen. She's going to just cut this fool loose. She's going to cut this fool loose, yeah. And she will have justice, right? And the person coming in going to be coming in like this knight of wands. And as soon as he comes in, he leaves. You see his back, is it's like he's leaving. But look out if he comes. He might be trying to come to steal something. He may see that you're a very patient individual, been patient with him. But... Uh, there's a choice that needs to be made here, and the choice will be that somebody's going to work on themselves. And somebody's going to be feeling sad over this uh, lost opportunity. Well, you know what? If you're going to act a certain way and be a certain way, that's what you're going to get. You're going to get left out in the dust, left out in the cold. <clears throat> because people aren't, can't, will not tolerate this like that. They will not. They're not going to tolerate this kind of activity, you know, from other individuals. Maybe in the beginning you can be very sneaky about it, yeah. But she is not, she's not taking it any, anymore. Uh-uh. She doesn't want to do that shit no more. She's going to work on herself. And she's going to, she knows her, her self-worth. <clears throat> yeah. Not having it, not having it. What else is going on with her? What else is going on for her? Yeah, this is a lost opportunity, Okay. Not dealing with this heel anymore, whoever this jerk was. What else we got going on here? She's in her power now. She's in her power. She's uh, she's waiting for something, though. Okay, she's waiting for something. She's waiting for something here to happen. Maybe she's waiting for him to come in and make that offer or give her those slim pickings, and she's waiting to cut that fool off. Nope, not giving you my cup. And this is why, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's what's happening. Because it's over, right? I'm not giving you my cup because it's over. You're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles. You're married, right? You're giving to two. I'm not, this is going to be a second or third wheel. Go to your marriage. That sucks, right? The Hierophant in the reverse. Go back to the woman that you're connected to, that you're married to, who you hate being married to, go back to her because I don't want you no more. I'm done with you. And that's what will happen if this person comes back. All right. That's what will happen. That's what will happen. So this person uh, may not be coming towards her. Maybe this person also knows what's going on. Maybe he knows that, that uh, you know, Somebody's pissed off at him. Well, of course. Of course. So there's no mo movement being made. This person is staying in with his toxic counterpart. And look, there's the Empress. And the reason why this person is unhappy in his marriage with this Queen of Pentacles is because that is not his counterpart. He got into that relationship for money. Here is where the love was with the Queen of Cups. His empress. Only problem is, is now this empress is a very difficult opponent because she knows what happens. She's intuitive. She's everything. She's got all the qualities of all the queens. 
hey, you know what? The universe will give you what you deserve. He might be coming back to try to hoping to heal something and oh, you are my sunshine. You are my look, King of Cups. Remember we saw him? He maybe he knows that oh shit. I deceived my queen, my empress. He wants wish fulfillment, you know, but he knows he has to bring in the truth about this third party situation. He's gonna have to he's gonna have to fucking squeal like a pig. He's gonna have to tell them the whole truth and nothing but the truth. How he is married. How he came in only for passions. Please be patient and wait for me. Stay single because you are my world. Don't let this come to an end. I love you. Don't take a leap of faith, but I think she's going to, she's going to walk away from the situation because her wheel of fortune is with or without him. She will move forward, right? She will always have justice here, even after the loss of this relationship. Yep. So regardless of whether she stays with this person or not, she's going to be successful either way. This person, not so much. He's going to be suffering. He's going to be upset. He's dealing with a very difficult individual. Maybe he's waiting for the right time to leave. I don't know, but the situation with her is he, it's done. <clears throat> DF is done with him. Yeah, because he was deceiving her, and she knows it now. She knows. So he can just stay in his unhappy marriage, <laughs> right? Yeah. Stay. You want the money? Go stay with the money. It's yours. It's yours. Happy. You know, love? Yeah, no, there's no love here. There's just money here. All right. What else we got here for her? Oh, oh I see some. Whoa! Let's stop right there. <clears throat> and you see why she has success? is because she put her faith in, her, in God, angels, and ancestors. She takes heed to these messages that she receives from the universe right? She may get epiphanies. She may have dreams. She follows them. She knows they're coming from spirit and she obeys. She is a servant of God. She's very spiritual. <clears throat> She's used her intuition. She's used her sacred knowledge to figure stuff out. The universe brought her the messages. God brought her messages. And now look at her. She has brought joy and happiness into her life by doing so. Yes, she is creating new things, new opportunities for herself, creating her own happiness. <clears throat> and why she gets all this stuff is because she is grateful. She is so grateful to God, to spirit, to the angels, to her ancestors. She is so grateful for what she has. It might not be a lot, but she is grateful. And happy for what she has received, right? Yeah, she may have new passions for other things now. The universe is bringing her epiphanies. She wants to help others. She wants to help others who can't help themselves, right? Yeah, very nice. And look, <laughs> this is why she has been enlightened to this whole situation. She has gone through the enlightenment of this situation. She's not fully awake, enlightened. No one ever fully is. But to this situation, yes, she is. All right. <clears throat> she has learned from this. She knows her worth now. And the universe or God, angels, whoever it is that she's praying to, is going to reward her with happiness. Okay. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, financial. No. Why? Why? Because she is grateful for what she has. You know, she doesn't need any more. She possibly lives a very a modest life. She appreciates what she has. She doesn't need anything because she's happy with who she is. She knows her boundaries. She knows her worth. And she works on herself. She praises the Lord. She is spiritual. She is good. She's passionate about that too. So she might actually be... A person who is enlightening others. She might be, um, <clears throat> you know, speaking about showing gratitude to spirit and about how spirit has allowed her to create a new life of joy. Yeah, this is her energy. Hallelujah. 
So, if this resonated with any of you guys in any way, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. would love that. Also, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types where we have nothing to fear because we stay calm, we stay cheerful, and we got spirit on our team, right? We sure do. Hell yeah. All right. So, I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you next time.